You've heard me say it a hundred times. Italians are among the healthiest people on the planet. And it's not because they're spending hours at the gym. It's their diet. Now, I know what you're thinking. What about that pizza and pasta? Isn't it loaded with lectins? Sure, but pizza and pasta aren't the only things Italians eat. That's like assuming all we eat is cheeseburgers. The truth is, the Italian diet is actually made up of some of the healthiest things on the planet, and today I want to walk you through just a few of those. Olives and olive oil. You know how much I love olive oil. I've done a whole video on it. After all, it's great for your heart health, your brain, your immune system, and even your weight. Now, the Italians make some of the best olive oils on the planet and eat plenty of it too. Whenever I'm in Italy, I love the chance to sample the local olive oils. The range in flavors from grassy and spicy to buttery is amazing. How about wild caught seafood? Italy's got water on three sides, so it's no surprise that seafood is a mainstay of the Italian diet. And wild caught seafood, including fish, shellfish, shrimp, lobster, mussels, and even squid and octopus are incredible for your health. And don't forget anchovies and sardines. Thanks to their lean protein and most importantly, their high omega-3 content. Shrimp even have an added bonus. If you eat the shells, you're consuming one of nature's lectin blockers. And don't worry, the shells are completely edible. They just add a little bit of texture to the mix. Now, how about leafy greens? It seems like there's always a plate of dark polyphenol-rich leafy greens on the table in Italy. Sometimes they're raw, drizzled in balsamic vinegar and olive oil. Sometimes they're braised for hours in olive oil and garlic until they're practically falling apart. And any way they make them, they're too delicious to resist. And since they play such a key role in your health and keeping those gut bugs happy, why resist at all? Now, how about red wine? Let me be clear. I am not telling you to go crazy and drink a bottle of red wine every night. And if you're not a drinker, please don't start on my account. But a small four to six ounce glass a night is actually pretty good for your health. Thanks in part to a polyphenol called resveratrol. And resveratrol is linked to a huge number of health benefits. It's got anti-inflammatory properties, antiviral properties, and it's even connected to heart and brain health. So feel free to pour yourself a toast to good health. But remember, a four to six ounce is not a big pour. It looks something like this. The easy way to remember is that there's six ounces, four of them in every bottle. So four six ounce servings will make a bottle of wine. That's not much. How about garlic and onions? When I read Italian recipes, they almost always seem to start with garlic, onions, or a mixture of the both cooked in olive oil. And that's fantastic, both when it comes to flavor and when it comes to your health. You see, garlic and onions are chock full of polyphenols. And they're pretty high in sulfur too. And sulfur helps build strong muscles, keep your veins and arteries healthy, and even help your skin look great. Now, along with these five staple ingredients, the Italian diet is also rich in a few other foods that are incredible for your health. Nuts, especially hazelnuts, walnuts, pistachios, and pine nuts. Fresh herbs like basil, parsley, and oregano. Pasture-raised eggs, actual pasture-raised eggs. The Italian eggs have almost reddish yolks. They're so rich. Also important to note, the foods that are missing from the typical Italian diet, or that are often eaten in extreme moderation. I'm talking about things like meat, especially highly processed foods. Meat that's not pasture-raised, tons of dairy or any dairy with the casein A1 protein. You know, all in all, the Italian diet is a good prescription for health and a great way to make sure you're eating delicious meals that satisfy you and your gut bugs. 
I'm Dr. Stephen Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you.